Hi, I'm Christy Belcamino. I'm a crime fiction writer and I want to tell you a little bit about my books that I write in case they might be a good fit for you. Uh, most of them are dark. Most of them are crime fiction that deals with bad things happening, um, bad people doing bad things. And if you have a problem with the F word, then I'm probably not something that you'd be interested in, in reading. My books probably aren't a good fit for you. Um, and if you have I guess strong opinions about um, children, think bad things happening to children, then I'm, that's probably another pass for you. So let's go to the very first book that I wrote. Um, I have a series, it's called the Gabriella Giovanni Mystery Series, and the very first book in the series is called Blessed Are the Dead. Um, this was based on my own dealings with a serial killer when I was a reporter in the Bay Area. So Gabriella Giovanni is a newspaper reporter who lives in the San Francisco Bay Area, and she is dealing with a lot of stuff. Um, she is basically going after a predator who kidnaps and kills little girls in this book. So it's it's dark. Um, there are moments of hope and light in all my books. That's kind of my goal is I'm dealing with dark subjects, but I'm hoping that people will walk away feeling really good, shutting, you know, turning the the last page and feel a sense of hope and a sense of goodness and, and um, just, you know, maybe crying a little because it's over. If you cry, that's a win for me. Sorry. So this is the first book in the series, Blessed or Dead. These are put out by HarperCollins, the, most of the series, not the entire thing. Uh, the second book, Blessed Are the Meek. Then we have Blessed Are Those Who Weep and Blessed are those who mourn. Now these are the HarperCollins books. I continued the series past HarperCollins because readers demanded more. Blessed are the peacemakers and blessed are the merciful. So the series is basically complete at six books. There, I could go in and fill in like maybe a book in the middle because there is some time passage there where I could do something with it. Uh, I have no plans for that right now. But if you like that is probably um, one of my more normal characters. Gabriella Giovanni comes from a big Italian-American family. So if you like uh, learning about that culture, if you like the big Sunday dinners, um, then it's probably something you might like. Um, the second series that I wrote is the Gia Santella series. Now, Gia Santella is also Italian-American, but she has a mafia and mobster background. And she is really rough around the edges when we first meet her in City of the Dead. And it's not necessarily her fault. She uh, lost both of her parents to murder, and her brother was murdered as well. So she's coming from a really dark, bitter place. And um, this is an old cover, but this is the Gia and the City of Dead. It's just the City of Dead now. Um, Gia is handling her grief very, very poorly. She sleeps around. She races her Ferrari up and down the coast of San Francisco or the Bay Area. She um, does drugs, um, drinks a lot, gets kicked out of bars. She is handling it really, really badly. Uh, luckily, she's got a heart of gold. She will do anything for anyone, anytime. So despite her foibles, we find ourselves really rooting for her and really enjoying her, her story. Um, People who really get Gia look past the bad things that she's doing to deal with her grief and just love her because she uh, she has um, wonderful morals. Like she will do anything for anybody. She will give you. She'll risk her own life for anyone else. So um, there are nine books in that in the series in the Gia series now. And then this um, I suppose I can go in order really quickly. This is book two, and these covers. The covers have changed, um, and you'll see the difference in a minute. Book three. Book four is a little bit of a novella. A little short guy. Oh, that's two of those. We don't want to show that. Um, book five. Now this was done in collaboration, in a way, with Emily Kimmelman, who writes the Sydney Rye Mystery Series. Uh, Emily approached me and gave me permission to write a book that includes her character Sydney Rye. So this is about Gia and Sydney Rye basically kicking butt. Awesome. The next book is The Day of the Dead. And then you can see my covers changed, and they changed um, all of them on the ebook to this. So then this is the sixth book or seventh, I think. I lost track. 
And then there's this one, Nightfall, the most recent one that came out. I have another one coming out soon, but as of this moment on this video, on October 3rd, 2019, this is the most recent Gia book. And I'm sorry that they're all backward. So, meanwhile, I've also written a couple standalone books. This is... Um, this was nominated for a ton of awards. Actually, the Gabriella Giovanni series was nominated for the Anthony, Barry, and McCafferty. This one was nominated for the Agatha, but it is not a young adult book. It can say young adult all day long on it. It is for a 17 plus. It deals with things like snuff flicks. Um, yeah, that's really all I need to say, right? Snuff flicks. And uh, so it's not... It's, it's not a young adult. It is set in L.A. during the L.A. riots, and it deals with some heavy issues, too. Um, it's one of my favorite books that I've written. I just it, it was one of those ones where it was like, I don't really care if anyone ever reads this. I'm going to write it. And I've had some of my uh, longtime loyal readers say it's their favorite, too. Um, it was put out by uh, Polis. Polis? I never knew how they ever say it. Books. Um so it's still available out there somewhere. I, as you can see, I have like an old library copy because I don't have that many copies anymore. This is also a book that I just really, really had to put out there whether anyone was going to buy it or not. And it's been really well received. It's called Coming For You. It's about an Italian-American mother in Minneapolis, of all places, which is where I live, who is dealing with the police going after the wrong person for her teenage daughter's murder. So it's fairly intense. Um, Sophia, the main character, also happens to be Italian-American. It is probably, it's like a, it's a big book. So if you like traditional crime stories from like traditional authors, um, you might, you might really like this one. Um, it's got a little more of a literary bent. Uh, the Gia books, they are definitely, um, like noir, like hard-boiled mysteries. And I did a terrible job. Oh, I do have, I do, stand by, stand by. I do not have the first book in the Queen of Spades series, but I do have the second one that just came out. It's called The One-Eyed Jack. I don't have all the paperbacks of all my books, can you believe it? I end up giving them away and then I forget to reorder. Although I'm going to start stocking them because I'm selling signed copies on my website for Christmas. Anyway, so this is the second book in the Eva Santella series. She is... Um, an, an Italian woman who basically was one of the first women in Italy to uh, get the honor of being a mafia boss. But then she pissed everyone off because she told all the other mobsters that she was not interested in sex trafficking. And if they didn't agree with her, they could just F off and die. So she killed a bunch of them. And they put a hit out on her life. So she went into hiding in Los Angeles. And then it gets interesting because they found her. So Eva... Super fun to read. She was really, really inspired by some of my favorite thriller characters. Uh, I absolutely adore the Orphan X series by Greg Hurwitz. And after I read that, I said, oh my gosh, I really want to write uh, a woman, Orphan X, who has similar traits, but who's Italian-American and in the mob. Like, why not, right? Um, so maybe a cross between Jackie Collins' Lucky Santangelo and... Uh, Evan Smoke, Greg Hurwitz's Orphan X character, and then maybe a little tiny bit of Jason Bourne thrown in, and Atomic Blonde, and then we've got Eva. So um, obviously, people always say, what is the favorite book? What's your favorite book out of all the books you've written? Well, you know what? It's the last book I wrote. This one just came out last week. So it's always the either the book I'm writing right then or the last book I wrote that is my favorite. So um, that is a little wrap up of my books. Um, please email me if you have more questions. I hope that helps you make a decision on what you might want to start with.